We live in a society that in so many ways has been taken over by secularism. You have religion on one hand and secularism on the other, but who's open to the visitation? You might feel it going into a cathedral or a church or a synagogue or a temple. You might feel something of the atmosphere of the divine. But we're talking here about a full-on visitation that we know for ourselves that is not dependent on a building or another person or an institution. The divine visits us every day. It visits us in the thoughts that come to our head. It visits us in the love that's in our hearts, the impulse we have to reach out to, to other people. It visits us in the urge to be devoted, to express our devotion, to know our devotion, to know it in heart, to say it out loud, perhaps, as in a prayer, and then to live a devoted life, to say to ourselves, no, this is my path. This is what I'm giving myself to. And whatever is happening, whatever distractions there might be, whatever adversity, whatever has to be overcome, no, I'm living a devotional life. I have that urge within me that I will not deny. I'm being visited by that urge. And in that visitation, there is a presence. There is a presence. So often we deny it or lose our capacity to relate to, to divine presence. Maybe we can't find a word that names it properly for us. Me, the word God, gets me only like that much, that far there to, to name what it is that, that I feel visits me. It isn't just an energy. It isn't just an urge, though it is that. It isn't just inspiration to think a new thought, an enlightened thought. No, it's a presence. We do, do not live in a world that is just stuff, things, energy. The birds that fly around this valley, just we're witnessing some this morning. All the, the beasts that wander through here the insects, all that grows here and all its beauty, is that all just physical form doing some kind of physical thing? It is that, but it's so much more. There's a presence if you're open to feel it. There's a presence in this valley. There's a presence in this soil and this earth. There's a presence at Sunrise Ranch. It's not just any old place. There's a spirit here. And in that spirit lives a presence, the presence of divine being. Known by us, touched by us. We touch it in each other. We're ennobled by that presence, each of us. And if we're open to see it, we can see it in one another and celebrate it. This is not just a personality in front of us. Some kind of big ball of emotion and thought. And no, there's a presence there. The presence deserves to be acknowledged and honored. 